On January 28, 1946, Blue Nose, having been sold to haul freight in the Caribbean, strikes a reef off Haiti. She is abandoned and later sinks. And any last opportunity to preserve this national icon and a unifier of nationhood is sunk along with her. Fourteen years later, in 1960, Smith and Rulon, the very same shipbuilders who built the original Blue Nose, builds a replica of the bounty. As another movie, Captain's Courageous rekindled the romance of the golden age of sail, which resulted in the resurgence of the International Fisherman's Cup race in 1938. Ironically, Mutiny on the Bounty has a similar effect. Lunenburgers believe a replica of Blue Nose would be a great tourist attraction. Halifax's Oland Brewery, looking for a mascot for their schooner beer brand, puts up the money. Smith and Ruland builds her, following William J. Rue's original plans. On July 24, 1963, Blue Nose 2 is launched with Captain Angus J. Walters, the original captain of Blue Nose, sailing on her maiden voyage. For more than a half a century, Blue Nose 2, in the hearts of many Nova Scotians, is not just a replica, she is the embodied spirit of the original Blue Nose. She's a living connection to her namesake's glorious past as the reigning undefeated International Fisherman's Cup race champion, although she herself will never race. Blue Nose 2, like the Blue Nose before her, is an iconic symbol of Nova Scotia that distinguishes the province from all others. She serves not only as a goodwill ambassador for Nova Scotia, but also for Canada at large. When Blue Nose 2's crew gathers for dinner on board, they sit around a table pieced together from wood and stone collected from every Canadian province and territory. During the summer, she routinely visits ports around Nova Scotia, Eastern Canada, and New England, occasionally traveling further to ports along the St. Lawrence and Great Lakes, attracting huge welcoming crowds wherever she goes. An opportunity to feel her legacy to a bygone era beneath your feet and salt breeze on your face awaits as anyone can join Blue Nose 2 on a harbor cruise in her home port of Lunenburg or in one of the many ports she visits. If you're unable to attend, just hold a Canadian dime tightly in your hand and imagine.